we've been living in Sacramento now for about five and a half years. And since we moved to Sacramento, we've noticed an increase in the homeless population. We've also haven't been feeling as safe as we were when we first moved to Sacramento. We feel like the transient population has gotten out of control in the past few years, especially after the pandemic. And we've actually been talking about our plans for the next three years. And in three years time, we plan to move back to New York City. So being that this city no longer feels safe to us, we are going to move back to New York City, mm -hmm. but we will show you exactly what it's turning into so you guys can make your own decisions. And let us know what you guys think about the homelessness crisis here in Sacramento after you watch this video. All right, so first we gotta go pick up our daughter from school because she's getting out right now. And um, as you can see, Monica's gonna pan around and this is actually the neighborhood that we're used to seeing. This is where we live. So we're gonna show you around the nice areas and then we're gonna show you around the surrounding areas. All right, so now we're driving down the new part of Curtis Park. This is Crocker Village. And here the homes go for anywhere from 700,000 to upwards of $1.8 million. Yeah. It's up there. The average square foot for a home in this neighborhood is about 22 to 2,500 square feet. Yeah. It varies though. There are it's some homes less. that are even as small as I would say 1,800 square feet. The older homes are definitely smaller. Yeah. But the newer homes, they're yeah. as small as 1,800 square feet and as large as 3,100 square feet. Yeah, I would say so. But the older homes, the ones that you see right now, are the homes that go for anywhere from 650,000, a two bedroom, one, one bathroom, yeah. 1,000 square foot home. Maybe not even 1,000. Yeah. They, they can get as small as 850 square feet. But they go all the way up to probably close to 2 million. And that would be for a home the size of maybe four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and 2,800 square feet or so. Now this neighborhood is adjacent to Land Park and it's also close to Sac City. Land Park is another neighborhood in this area that's also very expensive and a pretty established neighborhood. That's where a lot of the families with children like to live. And a lot of families in this area are professionals. Many of them are professors, doctors, nurses, high earning professionals. They're gonna be living in this neighborhood. And as you can see here, there's already a homeless encampment right there. Many of them like to live in the underpasses because they can shield themselves from the rain, the sun, and any of the other elements. So we're gonna make a left on W Street. Now W Street is turning into the next skid row. It's not there yet, but it's turning into one. All right, now this is definitely one of the worst parts of this area. You're gonna see why. Stay on the right, yep. Good. Look at all of these tents. All right, so we're gonna go back around. We're gonna circle the block so you guys can see the rest of it. Getting it? Okay. It's just tent after tent after tent after tent. But believe it or not, like I said, they have been clearing out some of these tents here. And I think part of that reason is because there was a fire here recently. some businesses down here that had to shut down because of the crime in the area and much of the crime was being committed by the homeless individuals in this area. There used to be a Jamba Juice out here and it had to shut down because the employees didn't feel safe working there anymore. This is one of our favorite places in Sacramento. It reminds us of Brooklyn a lot, Dumbo in Brooklyn. Yeah. 
It looks very similar to it. And it's the hip, up-and-coming area of Sacramento. And they opened up a Shake Shack here last year, and they recently opened up Anthropology, and I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> Monica definitely wanted to speak for this portion of the video. <laughs> There's West Elm. We were actually gonna buy a house in this area, but um, we kind of got outpriced. But it's a nice area, we do like it. Yeah, they have a lot of nice restaurants in this area. A lot this of the times when we do eat, it's usually in like Midtown Sacramento or Downtown Sacramento. You know, I really like the uh, nightlife here. It's not New York yeah. City nightlife, but it's it is than, a nightlife. <laughs> it's better than anywhere near Sacramento. That's true. In the greater Sacramento area. But you know what? During the pandemic, this felt more dangerous to live in than where we live. All of these businesses were boarded up and the riots were taking place not too far from here. To our right, you have Ace of Spades, a venue where musicians perform. Now we're borderline midtown and downtown Sacramento. And a lot of the homes you see here are gonna be very quaint old homes, lots of trees. That's why Sacramento used to be called the city of trees. All right, so this is the park where the Capitol building is located. There's been a lot of construction since they reopened everything up after we had shelter in place, because when we had shelter in place, everything was closed. And you couldn't even go into the Capitol Mall building for a long time. I think it was over, over a year, almost two years. All right, so now we're heading to where the construction of the new Kaiser building is supposed to be happening. that the history that shaped the Sacramento rail yards is at the heart of California's rich and complicated beginnings. As the area became a new state, California was shaped by powerful forces of innovation, mother nature, and even a touch of luck. Throughout the journey, the Sacramento rail yards were at the heart of it all. And we're gonna drive down, we're Ooh. currently at Rail Yards Boulevard, but we're driving down, I believe this is 8th Street. And as you can see, here we go. This is another mini skid row in the making. But hey, at least you have this nice gentleman cleaning up the street. He's got a broom and a dustpan. That's actually the cleanest encampment I've seen so far. Look at this one, it looks but fancy. Look at that to the right, wow. It's a big one. That is a big one. All right, we're gonna make a left over here. There's a lot of construction going on on the right-hand side and tons of development in this area, which is a good thing. You know, we want to see development in the area, but if you look straight ahead, you're going to see that there's a lot of tents Ooh, also. So that's the juxtaposition, right? You see all this new development, but you also see tons of homeless encampments right next to it. This is the it. street I was asking you about. This is North B Street. Yeah. This is, we always, always see. And homeless. part of yeah. the reason why you see a lot of homeless individuals in this area is because there's a shelter nearby. I think they're handing food to the homeless uh, individuals uh, here. I think that's a church. If you move here, this is what you get. A relatively low cost of living because you don't have to purchase that million dollar home. You could find homes that are 400, 500,000, even less actually, because our friends purchased a home for what, 325,000 when they first moved here. And this is what, three years ago, four years ago. Their house is worth like 500 something. It probably is now, but you can still find a home for 350000 in Sacramento. You're just not going to be living in one of the nicer parts of Sacramento. Yeah, it'll be within the greater Sacramento area. Yeah. So you'll have the low cost of living and you'll have the high pay for nurses. So if you're willing to take the risk of living in an area like this with the increasing homeless population, then you're just gonna have to take that risk. 
And we were willing to take that risk, but I think it's gotten to the point where we feel like we need to get out of here sooner rather than later now. We've managed to pay off so much of our debt and we've gotten to a point where we don't owe anything except for our house. So we feel like within three years time, we'll be able to save enough money, sell our house, make a profit doing so, and then even have possibly by that time so much passive income that we can live off of it and active income from our business. So we'll see. And if you pan to the right, that's where the rail yards are. I think this is such a cool area. It kind of reminds me of Dumbo that's in Brooklyn. True. If they could just fix this up. And that was the plan. I thought they said they were going to restore this area. But to the left, that's where the new Kaiser building is supposed to take place. The reason they haven't constructed it yet, though, is because they have so many permits that they need to acquire before they start building anything on it. We're heading now towards downtown Sacramento from the rail yards to downtown Sacramento. And you can see there's plenty of construction going on in downtown Sacramento also. I mean, there's a lot of construction going on all over Sacramento. And every time you see cranes and construction workers and construction sites in a city, you know there's a lot of development and there's a lot of investment in that city, which is a good thing. It says that the rail yards in Sacramento will be America's next big urban development. This is the uh, mm -hmm. Kaiser downtown. Yeah. This is not a hospital. This is actually a medical building. Los Angeles. This is the I-5 South heading towards LA and Highway 99. So we're going to go get some boba now before we end this video. God, there's a freaking fire. They are literally cooking some food right there on the sidewalk. Uh, all right, Jason is making me talk. So we're about to go get boba. It's right across our street. It's called, what's that place? Tea for you? No, it's Happy Lemon. Oh, I thought we were gonna go to Tea for you. My favorite boba place was Happy Lemon. Yeah, right? that's Monica's favorite. <laughs> but I don't know, that seems like too franchisee to me. This is a franchise. What are you talking about? Well, it's about? not as big as Happy Lemon. Happy Lemon is everywhere. Happy Lemon is fancy, okay? What do you want? Thai tea. Thai tea with, with boba. 30%, 30%? Yes, sir. guys so we gave you a tour of sacramento we showed you what the homeless population looks like here let us know what you think about sacramento in the comments below would you still move here 